Now, uh, this is something that I have been studying. I'm actually studying to become an NLP practitioner. That's a neuro-linguistic programming practitioner. Basically, what that um, helps you learn how to do is to learn how to program your own mind so that you can achieve the success and the goals and the desires that you want and be able to control your subconscious mind more by how you interact with it and how your mind interacts with your body. So this is pretty cool. I've been learning about this. Um, one of the big things, you know, you may have heard the saying perspective, perception is reality. Um, well, NLP teaches the same thing. That perception is reality. Perspective, someone's perspective is their reality because they don't know any different. People experience the world the same exact thing in a vastly different way than we do. And so helping our mind be compassionate and empathetic and understanding towards their perspective is actually going to help us connect with them better and to communicate with them better as we look at building our teams and finding our perfect prospects and customers. So the real question is, what is reality? The, it, it really gets down into science, but our minds, our bodies, you know, they, they have synapses and the way that our body interacts and the, the way that these electrical signals inside of our body are um, interpreted, I guess is the right way to say that. The way that our mind interprets these signals becomes our reality. And there is so much content, so much information available. And we, we only get about, I think it's like 7% of that, of every, all of the input that's coming in to our minds. You can bring in seven things at a time and out of like 130 different types of inputs. And so you're getting a very small portion of the world around you. And so what you may remember is going to be very different than what somebody else is going to remember. So the way that you interpret your world is your reality. And that reality is not the same as someone else's reality. So tip number one is look at the world through their lens, try and understand their perspective and understand uh, where they're coming from. Now, a perfect example of this is back in 2015, there was a, a big fad going around. Everybody wondered what color is the dress, right? If you remember the, the images, um, it's, it was a, a gold and some other color striped dress. And some people would see it as a white and gold dress. Some people would see it as a black and gold dress. And some people would see it as a blue and gold dress. Me, I saw it as a blue and gold dress. So in the comments, go ahead and drop what color you saw the dress as and if you don't know go check it out on google and and see see what color you see it as because i see it as a blue dress other people may see it as a white and gold dress other people may see it as a black and gold dress same dress so it's very interesting the the perception and the reality that that creates for you because you experience that for yourself and just because someone else sees it differently does not mean they're wrong you don't have to agree, but it doesn't mean they're wrong. So um, just remember that with these different perspectives, that can be a superpower in your business, being able to have a, a bunch of different perspectives so that you can really expand your empathy, your reach, your understanding, your respect with a wide variety of other people. So that's, that's awesome to be able to look through and try and take a step back from what we think we know and really try to look at it from somebody else's perspective. Okay, step number two is all about projection. Tip number two, um, this projection is what we think about other people. If we haven't experienced that for ourselves within ourselves, there's no way that we could even see that in somebody else because what, you know, so are you, but what am I? You know, the, the old elementary school adage, I know you are, but what am I, right? Well, that is a projection. 
if you can see a fault in someone else, you probably to some level have that same fault. If you can see something positive in someone else, you to some perspective, uh, to some level have that within yourself as well. So the trick is with programming your mind is to search for the best things, focus on the best things, because when you can focus on the best things, you're going to start seeing them show up a lot more. For example, your favorite car. Once you've decided what your favorite car is, you see it everywhere. Unless, well, even if it's a Ferrari, I've seen, I've seen Ferraris rolling around too. So um, just remember that you have to take a step back and realize that something that you see negative in somebody else, someone else, that's something that you've got to work on in yourself if you don't like that. And so, you know, make that progress, step out of the negativity and into the positivity. And tip number three is as you are working with your team, you have got to truly believe that those team members can really go out and achieve something great. If you don't believe it, they are not going to see it. Um, in this course that I'm taking, they talk about a story, a, a teacher goes in and um, they tell the teacher that, that these kids are remedial, they need a lot of help, um, they're the not smart kids, and the teacher treats these kids like that, and they all were just struggling by the end of the year. The next year, different teacher, they tell that teacher that these are the brightest kids in the school, and that teacher, because she's been told that and believes that, she treats them differently and treats them like they are the brightest kids, and they actually end up achieving. You can do the same thing with your team by starting them off with more belief in them than they have in, their self, in themselves at first. And eventually, that is going to get into their own mental programming to believe in themselves. Uh, the way that I like to talk about it is um, you're going to believe in them to brainwash themselves into believing in themselves. And, and that's just kind of a... A silly way to think about it, but you're really training your brain to think differently. But you cannot do that for your team members until you have that same belief in yourself because you can't project that belief just like step number two. You don't have the ability to project that if you can't see it in yourself first. So start there, start with yourself, get your mind straight, use these NLP type tricks and get that belief in yourself so you can project that belief of positivity into your team and then you're going to be an unstoppable force. So let me know if you got value out of today and remember drop in the comments below what color is the dress that you see. Talk to you later everyone.